I took this board and painted it black. Using a small stencil that I found at Hobby Lobby in the uh, scrapbooking section and using some joint compound, I randomly put this pattern for some texture around the board. I took a piece of cardboard and tore off the first layer and glued it to my board. Taking some chicken wire, I took a small piece and glued it randomly in a corner. I had a set of keys and I grabbed this home sweet home little sign from Hobby Lobby in the spring section, 40% off. I believe I got it for 350. I had this old door knob panel and glued that. Using matte gel, I placed little gears and locks and little keys and just random objects throughout my project. I grabbed a clock. And a little handle and now I'm grabbing my black gesso and using a chip brush. I took the black gesso and basically uh, applied it everywhere all over my objects all over the board and you really want to get this into all the nooks and crannies and under your objects as it dries very very hard and I'm using a baby wipe to rub back some of my objects, getting the black off the surface. My goal is to try to get an aged look and pulling my project together. I grabbed some Wise Owl Dry Time and with a chip brush, dry brushed it throughout my project. Now I'm using Wise Owl Patina Glaze and just my finger and just highlighting throughout my project. Now I'm grabbing Wise Owl Whitewash Glaze and using a chip brush and very dry application all over my board. Now I'm using Eternal from Prima Redesign. It's a gilding wax and just grabbing every surface I can find and a little shimmer of gold. I 
I had these little succulent embellishments. They're just paper and glued them randomly on my board. And I also hit them with the gilding wax, just the very tips. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. If you want to see more tutorials, go to Chalk It Up Fancy on YouTube and chalkitupfancy.com for any paint products or brushes. Thank you so much.